Welcome to the OK British Baking Show. For those that haven't seen our show before, each contestant is given a secret ingredient that they must incorporate into their dish. It's a big challenge, especially because no one knows what the ingredients are until the round starts. I'm Dermont Crowley, your host of the show, a cook from Brisbane. I enjoy toothpaste and crumpets, and of course, like most of us, I allow myself a biscuit every once in a while when I'm feeling indulgent. Hello, what's your name? My name is Nigel Humphreys, and uh, I am on the OK British Baking Show. I went to the auditions for the Great British Baking Show, and I thought it, it said the OK British Baking Show. I was a little confused. I just thought it was a typo or some British thing, how they say, like, like rubbish and we say trash, so I just kind of went with it. I found out it's actually another show, lower budget or something they're telling me. I'm not really sure what to expect, but I am excited to be here. I'm ready for the challenge, and I hope I'll be able to impress the judges. Hello everybody, to like to say hi to the fans at home, my name is Cedric Kerr. I grew up on the streets of London and I, I worked in a soup kitchen. You may be wondering like why, why I sound like an American, I'm, I've been working on my, my American accent. One day I, I'd love to go to America, make something for them, to, to wow them with my cooking. Hi, my name is Arthur Nightingale. I used to be a stay-at-home father until my wife left me and my son, Tony. Welcome to the OK British Baking Show. What's your name? Arthur Nightingale. Good to meet you, Arthur. I'm Dermont Crowley, as you know, and this episode's special ingredient is bread. Now, each contestant will be required to use bread as a main component of their each unique creation. Your time starts now. Good luck. Bloody twist eyes. I decided to do an old family recipe of um, toast and jam. I have this every single morning with my son, Tony. You're required to make their in one slice of bread? Listen, this is the OK British Baking Show, and we figured since you were such a good cook, we would give you a bit of a challenge. But hey, good luck. See you at the end. One slice, it's a heel slice of bread. It's a heel slice of bread. I decided that I would make a grilled cheese with some bacon on it. I had to slice um, part of the heel away so I could toast both sides. Uh, it was a little difficult. I had to search through the kitchen to find stuff, but I think it turned out pretty good. First, first ingredient I got, I got bread. Bread, bread goes with soup, but you, you don't really put bread like in soup. I'm gonna make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. As you've seen, the first ingredient is bread. Pretty common, not super challenging, but it will be tough to make a truly exquisite dish that will satiate my exquisite taste per se. You may have noticed I used mayo instead of butter. Uh, that's a little trick I learned when I was uh, living in America. People in America obviously love fat, as you know, British audiences. So I decided to put as much fat on, fat on as I can, and obviously mayo is it just it's oilier, it's better. It tastes so much better when you fry it. Arthur? Arthur! You, uh, hey, you, you seem to be at a bit of a lull. Why don't you tell me what you're making? Yes, I, I have some toast and jam. I've got some peach jam right here, and I've got my, my, my toast cooking right now. I was thinking that this would be a great tea time um, snack. See? Well, I wish you best of luck. Thank you. Dermot, it seems that you've reached a lull in your baking. Why don't you talk to me about what you've made? All right, well, so I've decided going with one slice of bread is a little difficult. I scrounged around the kitchen, figured out I'm gonna be trying to make half a grilled cheese. Really gourmet grilled cheese, okay. though. So you see I've buttered this side with mayo just to add some uh, flavor, some color to that when I fry it. I've got some cheese here. I'm um, cooking up some bacon right now that I found. It's gonna be, uh, just add a little flavor to it. And is this an American specialty? What, what does this dish mean oh, to yeah. you personally? Well, growing up, my mom always, we grew up in a trailer park, you know, and my mom, uh, you know, like everybody in America does. And uh, my mom would always make us grilled cheese, just uh, nice, fattening, what? good food. So this really brings me home. So I just returned from my check-in with each of the contestants. They seemed, if not stressed, at least they had good ideas. Um, I'm a little bit worried about Nigel, just misguided. I, I'm no judge of character, I'm only judge of taste. The first time making this, I think I think it turned out pretty well. Like, I'm pleased with the texture. Um, it smells really appetizing, and I just hope that he will feel the same way. Three, two, one. Hi. Hello, Arthur. How'd it go? 
It went quite well. Tell me about your creation. So I've got some toast and jam, but I also added a little bit of um, some extra flavor. It's not. Thank you. May, may I try it? Very well done. Thank you. You'll get your scores during Jaja. Five, four, three, two, one. Hello, Nigel. How are Hello, you? Hello, Dermont. How are you? Good, good. Did it go well? It seems very pretty. Thank you. Well, I was really worried when uh, you pulled that sheet back and I only had one slice of bread, but I feel like uh, I pulled my resources and came up with something I could uh, present. All right, and anything else to say about your creation um, before I try? Um, well, I just hope you enjoy it. Thank you. Well, I think it's great. Thank you so oh. much for letting me try. Of course. And Thank you so I much. Good luck on the judging. Thank you. I'll see you later. I'll see you. So I just got done talking to Dermot. Couldn't be here because he got like this weird British superstition about going into a redhead's house. I sent him my sandwich and he said he really liked it. He said it was weird, but it was something new and funky that he actually really enjoyed. It. So um, I, I, apparently one of the other four contestants, Trent, great guy, you might have met him. He didn't actually end up showing up. So the rest of us just get to move on to round two. Personally, like I mean, I made it, so I wasn't really worried. But you know, it's always it's always like confident confidence building to be able to just move on to the next round without having to put in that much effort. Hello, Nigel. Congratulations Hello. on your success in round one. Thank you so much. The secret ingredient for round two is, as you may have guessed by the shape, peanut butter. Oh. The next secret ingredient. Peanut butter. It was not what I was expecting. I really thought that I was gonna get something more interesting than peanut butter. <laughs> but I'm a professional. I figured it out. I thought back to another classic American recipe, the peanut butter cup. Most people don't know you can actually make those yourselves, but you can. And I really am excited for the judges to try it. I'm ready. I think they're gonna love it. Second round, I was a little bit scared. I haven't told the judges, but I am allergic to peanut butter. I've never cooked with peanut butter before. The only dish that I could think of was celery and peanut butter. So second ingredient, peanut butter. I've never put peanut butter in soup before. I'm gonna try to make something. Um, I think in America they call them cookies. The uh, second round check-in went a little bit better than the first. I have to say I'm more impressed um, maybe just for the fact that the new ingredient is a lot less common. Peanut butter, obviously not super big here in the UK. I'm excited to see how they do. The American seems very confident um, in his dish, though no one knows what he's making. This, however, is going to... Ooh, that was too much. He's gonna hate it. I'm not sure what he's thinking, but it's too late. It doesn't smell like peanut butter, even though I thought I added it, but we'll, you know, we'll, we'll try this out. And if he doesn't like it, there's honestly nothing I can do. He, he liked it. I mean, I, I forgot, I kind of forgot the peanut butter, but he still liked it. I just, I just forgot to put it in. And I was like, I'm, I'm done. Like, this is the secret ingredient for this round. I'm not gonna be able to like continue. Worked, so we're just gonna continue on to the next round at this point. Three, two, one. These look wonderful. Yeah. What exactly are they? Uh, do, do you not know what these are? I've never seen such. Oh creation. well, uh, in America they're really popular. They're called uh, like peanut butter cups. It's just I took the peanut butter, I took some chocolate, melted it down, kind of shaped, and so inside these is actually peanut butter. I see. Creative. We'll, we'll see if it tastes good. for your creation. Uh, okay. And um, good luck at judging. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? It's a peanut butter cup. It's sweet, it's delicious. Everyone knows what it is. He didn't even know what it was. He looked at it like it, like it was some alien creation. It, it looked like he had eaten a turd. It was awful. I made something delicious. I should be on the Great British Baking Show, but I'm here on the OK British Baking Show. 
I hope I make it to the next round, but I don't know what to think. I've seen a lot of things. Um, cooked with a lot of dangerous things. Peanut butter, not what I was expecting to see. You know, Mr. Nightingale, um, Arthur Nightingale. He uh, had an incident with some peanut butter. He was allergic. Uh, he should have told the judges. I feel like that's partially on him. To be honest, I'm a little happy about it. I, I made my peanut butter cups. They were delicious, and I deserve to move on. If he hadn't gotten out, I think I would be going home. I'm glad that I get to move on, is all I'm gonna say. Hi, Nigel, how are you? Excellent, how are you? How are you? Good. I'm very good. Congratulations on your Thank movie you. on the two rounds. I was, I was impressed. Thank you so much. The, um, the secret ingredient this round is nothing. Your only sort of parameter is you need to create a dessert. Okay. So it's dessert. all up to you, whatever you want to do. Good luck. Dessert. All right, thank you so much. Uh, I decided that I'm going to go another American classic, keep the thing going. I'm going to do uh, s'mores. Uh, no fireplace, but I mean, that will be fine. I have a gas stove. So yeah, I hope you just like it. So I made it to the final round. It's me and Nigel. And I, mean, I, I know Nigel's a professional, and I'm a, I'm a kid from the streets, but I feel like we're pretty evenly matched. I mean, my specialty is soups, and he's a professional sous chef. The thing, the thing about this round, it's not necessarily ingredient, it's more the kind of food. Like, we, we both have to make a dessert, and I saw him making something. I'm feeling pretty confident. We'll see how that goes, and I'll, with any luck, I'll get the prize before Nigel. I can hear this coming together. This is gonna be good. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah? What are you doing? I'm making marshmallows. Well, yeah, but you're making marshmallows on an abomination of a stove. What, what do you think this is? The stove you gave me. Campfire? Listen, you're gonna love it, I promise. It's gonna be amazing. That's amazing. It worked like it should. I mean, there's a weird logo on it. I just, but that's, I guess that's just how the cookie came together. Or how the cookie crumbles, they say. <laughs> Nigel, you're in trouble. Because I have made it. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Time up. All right, tell me about your creation. All right, so I have made some uh, gourmet. Uh, it's a it's a s'more. What we call them? S'more. 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 What? S'more. Well, no one actually knows. It's oh. just called s'more. All right. right. You're gonna love I'm it. I'm excited. What? You said you roasted this go over gas fire. Yeah. <laughs> Does that explain why I can't hold it in my throat? <laughs> I can't eat any more of that. Liar! Liar! Well, I mean, I feel pretty good. I think I'm gonna win. I, I, uh, I hope. I'm, I'm not actually there thinking I will. We could just run back right now, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it's my um, I mean, no, 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 no. Uh, do we need McDermott? I mean, hey. I, I need Dermot. I'm here. Hi. How are you? I'd like to um, congratulate you guys on your um, announcement for the final round. I hope I have given you sufficient enough time to uh, get to know each other. And um, under this, resides the name of who won, I would like to give you the pleasure of unveiling that I will be reading the card, so don't grab for it. Good sign. All right, on, okay, on the count of three, just on, okay. uh, on that corner. Just go One, okay. two, three, go. Okay. All right. The winner of the OK British Baking Show I don't remember. is Cedric Kerr. Congratulations. Thank you, you really awesome. I make the most amazing, the most beautiful s'mores you've ever seen. I mean, the judging's been crazy. I've seen some of the other dishes. Toast? That was that was one of the dish. This is a professional cooking show, and someone made toast, and they loved it. I make the best, the best s'mores you've ever seen, and all of a sudden, they decide to get all picky. I made something delicious with the best I could, and that was the challenge, and they didn't like it. He didn't make those. You can't make Oreos. He went to the store. They, I saw the box in the trash can. This is ridiculous. I don't... I don't know what to do. It's like a life go wasted. What am I gonna do after the show? Um, I'm gonna definitely go back to America. I guess my cuisine, my cooking, uh, isn't appreciated here. 
Anyway, I'm gonna go back to America. It'll be great. N Nigel's over there freaking out. I made this. I don't know why he's claiming that I bought it. I didn't buy this. No one else makes these. This was my thing. It came out of the bowl that I used. He's just mad that he didn't win. I think on the inside it's kind of tearing him up. As you know, I'm Domont Crowley, and tune in next week where all our contestants are from the Brighton Penitentiary for the Criminally Insane. And remember, here on the OK British Baking Show, the food isn't great. It's okay.